I look raggedy as hell. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the cigar, Ralphie. Smoking a Romeo and Juliet. That's my last one. I only bought I bought a three pack here. It's hard to get here. You gotta ask. And the, these were pretty expensive. They shouldn't be this expensive, but these are short Churchills. Really expensive. I'm over here in Africa. And no, do not ask me if I've been to Wakanda. If I'm going to Wakanda, don't say Wakanda forever or whatever the hell it is. Because I don't know where that is. Even if I did, I probably wouldn't be invited in there. It's a secret place. You know, in the middle of a, like, the African wilderness. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't find it. And I don't have time anyway. I got to work. But anyway, sitting on my balcony here again. Another balcony video here in Africa. And um, discovered some pretty good things about it. Again, it's my first time. Probably will not be my last. Uh, I like, you know, this work I, I do here. So next to what I do, can't really say it's military stuff. I'm not in the military, but it's military stuff. But anyway, um, so anyway, yeah, I've learned a lot of stuff here, man, from Africa. First of all, I'm learning my way around. So I've been in the room all day. It was raining all night. I mean, when it rains here, it's not like a little drizzle. Like uh, It may drizzle here and there sometimes, but it's like... If like it's like the cloud just falls, like somebody just throws the cloud onto, onto the city, man. It was like it rained so hard, and the wind and all that stuff. It was crazy, like these big freaking clouds, man. The plants must be in heaven, but everything else was like all over the place. Um, but I've been in the room all day. Cause that one, cause of that, I didn't go downstairs to the pool or anything, or even uh, call my driver to go drive me around or anything, like we did yesterday. Cause of that, I figured no, he's Saturday. I mean, he's probably with his family, so I'm not gonna bother him on Saturday or Sunday. Um, might go downstairs later, have a drink or something by the pool. You know, the you know the whole soccer thing. I'm not a soccer fan, but. They're big on soccer here on this side of the world in South America. They're big on soccer. So, but he's been real laid back. Um, drove around the city. Bought some stuff, like I said in my last video. Um, learned a few things that it looks just like my country. They're my, you know, where I was born. Dominican Republic looks just like it. Looks just like it. Like... I, sh I sent my mom some pictures when I was out, and she was like, that looks like Dominican Republic. I said, I know, that mean everything, the people, the vehicles, the same vehicles, the, the people, the way they do things here, you know, you got the, the, they got little bars made out of like little woodsheds, and they paint them different colors, and they draw little things on them, and they hang out there, they call out a bar, and they got, like, pr probably got the coldest beer in there too, you've ever, ever tasted. The the temperature and those those freezers that they have those those refrigerators for the beer is set to like the temperature for beer where it's it's the the bottle is frosty but the beer is not frozen it's crazy it's like it's delicious i mean i haven't had a beer here <laughs> but i've seen them you know and i've had beers in the dominican republic so i know but um it's 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 just like the Dominican Republic, man. And, you know, people, people, part of the city, I mean, it's pretty cool. This part's just like everywhere else that you can go to. It's not like everybody here is riding elephants, you know. That's not, <laughs> if you, in case you were thinking that, or, or living in huts, this is a city, you know, people, cars, motorcycles, they got, they got cell phones and all that. Um, I'm not in South Africa. I'm in, like, the north, north, like, middle, I'm by, uh, Close to Niger, um, uh, Cameroon and stuff like that. So I'm actually on the border, Cameroon, right on the border. Um, but French, they speak French on this side. So I'm got, I gotta, you know, I gotta brush up on my French. You know, uh, the couple months that I'm here. Figure learn another language, why not? I should have learned German. My daughter speaks German. 
but I'll brush up on my French. Let me lower this mic over here. Oh, that's right. Look at that. Why ain't anybody saying anything? But yeah, I'll brush up on my French and stuff like that. I gotta find where I can get cigars. The manager of the hotel got me these. Um. <laughs> sorry, my friend just sent me a message. I gotta find where to get these myself. Uh, he's he got them for me, but like I said, they were too expensive. I was like, nah, I bet I could go in there and get something better. And I and he was asking me what kind do you like, and I'm naming cigars, but you know since they're not smokers, they're just like the most famous one. I guess they know is you know Romeo and Juliet. You say Romeo and Juliet anywhere, Romeo and Juliet or Davidoff. For some reason, they everybody knows those for some reason. Um, but I can't say, you know, Gurkha or Duro Fuente or, uh, you know, um, any of my other ones because that that's too deep. So I was like, I'll settle for this. Let's get rid of this. Not that they're bad, just, you know. I really have not done anything to them kind of sucks I haven't really like really 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 done any things you know been working at it settle some things with the company and all that um so it's been a little dry I've been cooking in here because and when I for the first week I got here I was eating downstairs and you know how resort or hotel prices are when you eat there I was eating downstairs every day and although, you know, it's great food. The chef is amazing. It's really gourmet food. You will see it on my Instagram. I put pictures up of the food, like the way it's what it's those. You know, it's it's uh, the the cook. I think he trained in France, so he's got that super gourmet. And we're in a resort, of course, French owned. So their their entrees are really all all decorative, and it's like when, like for example, they had a fried rice with uh with you know with like with chicken with you know with fried chicken or whatever like a fried chicken breast or something like like breaded but it was like they had some sauce with the colors on you know on the on the plate on a white plate and a little bowl like this with the fried rice in it so it was like this much like probably this much fried rice i don't even know how to just a little bowl of fried rice on the side you know and the chickens were like crossed like this and and you know we're used to like the the you know the ghetto you know chicken wings and rice where they just throw all that they pound all that stuff onto the onto your plate and you know for back in the day it was like five dollars it was two fifty and then five dollars now it's like seven eight dollars ten dollars but they fill up that tray you know and like two or three people could eat off of that but that's how they serve over here little portions you know that gourmet stuff eating here and shopping at the modern market which is the market for like westerners but if you go to uh if you go to the economy then like for example i went to a uh restaurant in the economy out uh it was a uh a, a chadian restaurant from this country and i had a burger and fries and i thought it was I thought the price, I read it wrong because I'm still learning the conversion. You know, 10,000 CIFA is $20. So when I read the price on the menu, I thought it said, on the ticket, the receipt, I thought it said 37,000. So I was like, oh, okay. I guess I'm paying 40. I guess I'm paying almost 40, almost, almost, uh, you know, uh, almost $40 for this burger and fries. But it was 3,000, 3,700. And fifty, so I thought you know it was only like six bucks, so it was pretty decent. You know, in the economy, you'll 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 live. Um, careful with the meat; you might be eating camel. I swear to everything that was camel that I ate yesterday. Um, I don't think that was beef <laughs> at all. I really don't think that was beef. I think that was camel. Um, is what it is. You, look, when, you gotta look at where you are. I mean, there's more camel here than I, I haven't seen one cow. There's plenty of camel. So. Oh no. 
don't tell me it turned off. It turned off. But anyway, yeah, so I had that, and I was like, oh, God, oh, Lord. You know, um, I was kind of... <laughs> It's off. I was kind of disappointed that I ate camel. Didn't want to eat camel. Um, I don't again. I don't know if it was camel, but you know, I'm gonna see if I do something tomorrow. Uh, you know, can't lie. Can't wait to go back home, getting my house built, get into my house, and then once I'm probably gonna be in there for a month before I gotta leave again. But I just want to be in my house with my family for a little bit. Um, you know, my new house, enjoy it, and then go back to work, because you got to work, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Uh, but Africa's been pretty cool, man. I, I want to visit the other countries. got to be careful where you go. Be careful where you go. I'm very mindful of that. I come from a security background anyway, so, you know. And so I'm very mindful where I go. You know, I don't go everywhere. I don't just... I'm not one of these dumb tourists. I'm not, I'm working, but I'm still your tourist. Um, I'm not one of these dumb tourists that just want to explore every, oh, look at this, look at this. Uh, I want to go to the ghetto and go to the cave. Nah, man, nah, I'll, I'll be all right. Take me to where the tourists go. I get little trinkets here and there, you know. Um, I'll meet people. I'm in a nice area. I'm sure I'll be all right right here. I don't, I don't got to go deep into into the heart you know i'm not doing i'm not filming a documentary i'm not i'm not trying to win the hearts and minds of people no shit like that um, and i'm not trying to get kidnapped um and you can get kidnapped anywhere shit somebody can go to new york and get kidnapped so in florida and get kidnapped so it's, it's happened so i'm not trying to do none of that shit so don't don't think you're gonna see any crazy footage of you know me going anywhere like that because it's not going to happen. I'm not going to do it. But anyway, so I just want to give you an update again because uh, I was out here smoking a cigar that turned off. I don't even have the right lighter. I don't have a torch lighter. Look at this. I know this is a no go. I know if any, any of you cigars uh, aficionados watching this, you're probably cursing me out right now because of this. But I did light it with with the uh, with the uh, Oh my God, I lit it with the, uh, it's wet, I'm not gonna pick it up, but with the, oh, I'm having a brain for it. Anyway, you know what I lit it with. Lit it, uh, anyway, that's all I got, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on social media, and I'll see you on the next smoke. Smoke that lights.